Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL and I thought I'd dive into Itch today. So I've loaded the Itch client and I've scrolled around and I found this game called Sort the Court, which I thought looked really interesting. The little thumbnail that looked really interesting. So I went to the actual Itch page. It's not the most fleshed out Itch page I've ever seen. The basic premise of this game is you make binary yes or no decisions in order to rule a court, which is kind of what the game Reigns does. Um, and I really like the game Reigns. I've even played it a lot on my phone. It's a game I really enjoy. So when I heard about something very similar, I thought, hey, let's give it a go. Um, the Linux version of the game doesn't work. It shows a black background, even though the pop-ups work, so it's not very much fun to play, even though you could, I suppose. Um, so I use the WebGL version, which is loaded right here. Now, I've been playing for half an hour on my first ever playthrough. It's a lot more forgiving than the game Reigns, which you'd think could be a good thing, because Reigns is brutal to play, and it's constant the stream of death. But in this particular game, everything I've done has made a minor effect on things, so I've not really felt any pressure in my decision so i'm kind of just clicking through stuff like this one here says i'm hungry can i eat some folks and i'll give you a uh, gold in exchange for their lives no because that'd be a douchebag move fine i'll leave them alone and then i've got one chunk of happiness there next one uh the skeleton dude the skelly dude's okay he's pretty cool he's been helping me out a lot some of the villagers mentioned they saw an alien walking around do you know anything about this yeah i saw an alien earlier believe it or not so yeah i knew it i need to go find Mulder. okay I don't know who Mulder is, but okay. And they, it also does this day and night cycle by just tinting the screen, which is a little bit jarring at first, but it's kind of nice when you get used to it because the pop-ups don't fade, just the background, which is nice. Um, hey, good friend. I thought you might be interested in making a deal. Good old wholesome, friendly deal. Uh, an angel. This guy's not an angel. This guy's been turned from my court every half an hour since I've started playing this, trying to get me to trade people for, for, for gold. Um, how about this? A few hundred gold from you, and I'll make sure your citizens are happy. Uh, no, he's the devil. We, we don't say yes to the devil, do we? Um, he just goes away. There you go. It's not, see what I mean? There's not a lot of not a lot of actual weight to decisions. I accidentally ate some folks in front. Can I just pay you back with gold? Um, I, um, but he accidentally ate some folks already. Can he just pay me back? No. I don't want to endorse this. Yeah, I... I <laughs> It's okay. So day 23 is now complete. You can see I've lasted 23 days on my first playthrough. Um, so not a lot of weight to the decisions, as I said. Population minus five, happiness plus one, and wealth zero change. So yeah, I'm doing all right. I think I'm doing all right. I need some more happiness, you know, that's fine. And in the background there, you can see the building, the on the scaffolding slowly builds the city as I play, which is interesting. Uh, can my friends come over to play? Yeah, sure, why not? So I'm increasing population and happiness. See, it's very... It's just a drudge. It's like a drudge through the game, which is there's some entertaining stuff and some weirdness happening. Um, like this fella comes and asks for coins, and I give him like five coins, and he seems happy, I, you know. Um, but whereas Reigns, it'd be like everything ends up being life and death within a few turns. Um, this one just I don't know. It doesn't seem just doesn't seem to be holding me. I'm getting bored playing it. The extra food we've been able to store in our granaries has attracted more settlers. Should we let them in? Yeah, let's let them in. Let's go. Yay, five more people, one more happiness. Yay, I suppose. Uh, there's the alien again. Hello. Uh, hey, why do you have to wrap me out? That pesky molder won't leave me alone now. Uh, I'm just trying to lead a normal life here. I don't need this commotion. Again, I wasn't sure I wasn't supposed to rat him out. When it rains, that would have been the end of my kingdom, probably. Bonjour, I've just finished moving in, but I would like to request assistance for my own. May I have one person? Um, yeah, sure, one person. I've got enough spare. Not that they're commodities. People aren't commodities. But, you know, you're a king. Um, yeah, that chest keeps eating people. I can't do anything with him. Um, the papers have been posted around town. Uh, spreading the destruction of the Western Forest. Oh, no. People feel guilty about it. They're unhappy. Oh, no. You can see what I mean, though, guys. It's at this point, it's like just a drudge. It's not... I just don't feel like I'm like... Like I have to give a shit. Are you feeling spooky today? Last time I said yes, he ate a bunch of people. So, no. Um, and he just goes. Uh, there was a dragon thing happening. And now the, the, the old lady who asks you a question. Um, okay, the soup's been... Okay, the soup thing's cool. Got 15 gold, that's great. See, just... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think he's cool. Yeah. Increased happiness. No, nothing's happening. And with rains, that brutality is what really makes the game worth playing, I think. Um, I don't want to scare people. That'd be stupid. 
But yeah, I, I'm also, I think the game, I have to push yes and no. I'm using yes, no, and space. So I'm sort of like lying my hand across the keyboard to do it. Um, which I would have preferred to use up and down for like choice, like positive and negative. But apparently not. Um, citizens there, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the, the guy's gone. Nothing there. Day 25, yay. I shouldn't be able to survive this long on my first playthrough. You think there'd be something to really screw me up? Builder wishes to construct more houses. Yes. Yes, let's give them the gold to build more houses. So I've just spent 100 gold and down to 34 gold now. Uh, but nothing I do seems to actually end it. I've actually been to minus figures in gold. Nothing seems to end it. Um, you give this kid, like, what, one coin, is it? There you go, and he's happy. You say you're basically spending one coin to get three happiness. Um, yeah, give the cat some food. Five gold, is it? Oh, two gold, that's fine. I, I, why would I not? Why would I deny the kitty food? Um... Raise my prices. If he wants to raise his prices, it's none of my damn business. But I did get 50 gold. So, again, I'm back up to that 100 gold point. Yeah, this is this is how the game progresses, essentially. Um, this wizard's a dick. He asks you if you want to spell. And you say yes, and usually it kills a bunch of people. Um, but then once it gave me 200 gold, so then you're all like, oh, I don't know. So, let's see if we can let's see if we can screw up. This is time to do whatever he likes. Yeah, he killed a bunch of people. I never saw that coming. Um, yeah, the game, all in all... I like the fact it exists. I enjoy the idea of more people taking this this yes no decision based games and doing things with it. Like Reigns was the first I can really remember that really sort of you know stuck out as being a great game. This one not such a great game, but if you haven't played Reigns, certainly worth checking out. Um, and you may you may enjoy it more than me. Maybe like the fact that I've played the better version, which is Reigns. Maybe because of that, this one doesn't really appeal to me. But I like the artwork. Um, I wish the king was more moved around a bit more and did a bit more stuff because it just seems like he's, he looks dead on the throne. He's got some cold, dead eyes. But uh, all in all, it's, it's okay. It's a competent game. Um, that's all I can really say on it. We did each today. Thank you very much for watching. I've been HexDSL. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And I'm hoping this will spur people to send me links to itch games. Because if there are games on itch you think I should play, please send the links over and I'll give it a go. Thank you for watching. I've been HexDSL. Bye-bye.